my question is are we just going to go back to regular programming like nothing ever happened the storm is over now is our being dramatic over now Welcome back to my channel not such an exciting video not a happy one um, so just brace yourself as you can see by the title of the video gents I am speaking to the gents all three percent of you on my channel I went on my analytics a section where you can see who views your videos how long they watch your videos and I went to look at my subscribers and the ratio between male and female there is 97 percent of female and only three percent of males and so in essence I'm going against all odds I am addressing the wrong crowd I'm speaking to the wrong people um, but my intent with this video is that the females that are watching I hope that you have these conversations with your brothers your boyfriends your husbands your uncles your fathers the men around you um, we need to have these conversations I have so many questions to the men today you are seeing what is happening in South Africa the gender-based violence xenophobia including xenophobia are you touched I am genuinely asking my brothers are you touched are you affected by what is happening if yes if yes what are you doing about it what do you plan to do about it is there any action in your heart that you want to do what can we do I want us to have these conversations what can be done usually I'd be speaking to my ladies and encouraging them but I am struggling to even encourage myself and all that I can say to the women to the ladies the 97% of you is that I'm sorry I'm sorry that you've been violated I'm sorry that men feel entitled I'm sorry that we cannot jog alone I'm sorry that we have to walk in groups we have to share our locations when we uber I'm sorry that we have to get pepper sprays and tasers I'm sorry that you fear for your life I'm sorry back to the three <laughs> percent back to the three percent the gents you are silent I just have questions for the gents of why are you silent are you waiting for your sisters and your mothers to be violated raped and killed before you take action before you stand up and speak as women we are united as women we march we attend these women empowerment events and then we go back home to be what to be killed to be abused by our boyfriends and our husbands what's the point what's the point I'm speaking to the guys we have values we have morals who stand by what is right men of high character men of integrity I'm speaking to you it starts with you first and foremost that you change be a better man once you are a better man you will influence you will lead by example to the men that are around you the boys the boys the whatsapp groups what are, what conversations are you having are you dismissing your friends that are acting out of character are you reprimanding them you know what your boys do when you keep quiet you know that you're in the same literally you are in the same whatsapp group you are the same as them we need you to speak to your friends men who love their women rights I'm speaking to you today to the men they have maybe already violated raped abused a woman own up own up to your sins 
own up to what you have done. I don't know how to tell you guys this in a very nice way. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to fight with you. To humble your egos. We are asking you to do better. We have a problem, guys. We have a problem. And we cannot be focusing and saying that women are dramatic. We are dramatic because we are hurting. We are dramatic in your eyes. Dramatic because we are tired. We have we are we are we are tired. I'm just saying that gents, you are part of the solution. You are part of the solution. What are you contributing? It starts in your circles. Um, I, I actually spoke to a few gents and they were saying it's impossible, Lisa, because how can I um, have such impact? I don't have. I don't have a platform. It's not about having a platform. It's not about changing the world just yet. It does not start with you having the impact in the entire world. It starts by who surrounds you, your sisters, your family, your mothers, your girlfriends. Make it a safe place where they are by your presence. Your presence should bring safety. I truly believe, I truly believe that in this generation, there can be change. I know that we speak of the change being in the next generation, but we can initiate it, initiate and educate the change in this generation. We can initiate the change in this generation. The Bible speaks of Esther saying that she, she was raised for such a time as this. Where are the men that are going to stand up for such a time as this? Forget about the Esther. The Esthers are all over. For such a time as this we are here we are the men where are the men for such a time as this where are the men that are going to stand up for such a time as this where are you why are you quiet why are you quiet let's have this conversation let's put action Let's change our circles. Let's change our conversations. Let's reprimand. And if, you, if you're not touched by what's going on in South Africa, <laughs> alrighty then. Um, God will raise other men. God will raise other men. God will raise men for such a time as this. So if you keep quiet, it's okay. If you continue to keep quiet, it's okay. But I believe that I'm speaking to the ones that want to be used and want to have an impact and want to help and contribute to the crisis in South Africa, the crisis in the world, God will raise you up. We are praying for you. We are praying for you. And when you move, God will move. If you're quiet and you do nothing, you give God nothing to work with. But when you start in your circles, like I've mentioned, and you start speaking about it, having conversations, coming together, humbling yourselves as men, putting your pride aside, and really digging deeper. God will move in this nation. God will heal our land. When you change your ways, when you repent, and you do better as men, God will move, and God will heal our land.